Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Jonathan. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 Cydia tweaks. All these tweaks are free. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video and these tweaks that I'm going to be showing you today. But before we jump into the video, let's roll that intro. Okay, coming up first is a Cydia tweak called Unlock Sound 7. And this is a really simple tweak. It's basically just gonna give you the unlock sound that you're used to in previous versions of iOS. So go download this one, it's pretty cool. Coming up next is a Cydia tweak called Flappy Mario for all you Flappy Bird fans out there that was lucky enough to download this game before it got deleted from the App Store. But basically in this game, it lets you just change the bird character into Mario and just gives it a pretty cool look I really like this the pipes look like Mario anyway and in my own opinion that's probably why the guy deleted it from the App Store because he thought it was gonna get in trouble with Nintendo because the pipes look so much like Nintendo but I digress if you want to change your character into Mario or Luigi go download this tweak it's pretty awesome up next we have a tweak called status modifier and this is a pretty neat tweak basically it just allows you to see the time date and how much megabytes or memory you have left on your Apple device up top here so I'm really liking this tweet because it lets me know how much memory I have left so go check it out status modifier next we have a tweet called CC toggles and I am loving this one It's probably one of my more favorite tweaks on my iPhone right now but basically it's just gonna let you keep your toggles and apps organized in one place so you can just add more toggles and you can get to them and more apps on the bottom so I'm really loving the uh, how organized this tweak is and you can keep more apps and toggles in one place at one time so go check it out CC toggles next we have a tweak called activator and I'm really liking this one basically you can just go into settings and change different gestures to do different things such as compose an email or change a track on your iPod for example I got it set up when I do a triple press on the home button I can compose a Facebook message which is really cool it's real convenient and it's really fast so I can just triple press and boom I can post to Facebook whatever I want to say in my status update so go check this one out in Cydia it's called Activator this next tweak is called Classic Dock and the name kind of explains itself it basically just lets you go back to the dock that you had in iOS 6 before Apple changed it to the boring dock that we have now on iOS 7. So you see the reflection you have on your icons here. So go check this one out, it's called Classic Dock. This next tweak is called Clip Shot and I'm really liking this tweak. Basically it allows you to take a screenshot and you have two options. You can save to camera roll or save to clipboard. So in the save to clipboard option you can just copy that and open up messaging or an email and paste it directly into that message so I won't save it to your camera roll and use up your memory so I'm really liking this tweak go check it out it's called clip shot this next tweak is called messages customizer and this is a cool one basically it allows you to go into settings and change the way your messages look the background color of the message bubbles plus the way the color of the text you can just mess around with it until you get the color you want and it's pretty neat I really like it go check it out in Cydia messages customized next up we have spot define and basically what this Cydia tweak allows you to do is to use spotlight to search the dictionary or Wikipedia so you can just type in any word and search the dictionary instantly this is very useful for me because it usually when I have to search a meaning of a word I have to go to Google so this is just more it's just more uh, organized I guess you could say and allows you to go search words on the go so go check this one out it is called spot to find this next tweak is a cool one It's called lock your app free and as the name suggests it's pretty self-explanatory it lets you set a password for certain apps so right here I have a password set for my photos so every time I go into my photos I have to input this password before I can get into it so this could be pretty useful if you have a app that you want to remain private but you don't want to lock your whole phone so go check this one out it's called lock your app free 
Well, okay, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that like button. It does help me out a ton. Also, you can hit that yellow subscribe button you see on the screen right now to be subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my other future videos. So once again, this is Jonathan with today's free apps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.